Corey Joseph is the pride of Pickering. The Raptors' hometown star is gearing up for a new season. And that's a new season that comes with a lot of expectations after last year's deep playoff run. Please welcome Pickering's Corey Joseph. Yes! Reading the North, it's about time you visit us. And you just said when you're up this early, you happen to watch breakfast television? Uh, most definitely. And this is why we love you even more. <laughs> Great taste in morning show. <laughs> so good to have you here. Talk to us about, you know, how you guys are feeling going in, gearing up a couple of weeks away. Right, we're feeling great. Uh, you know, chemistry is building for sure. Uh, anxious to get to our first game. And we're, we're well prepared, we feel like. Well, it's funny because, you know, you're 25 years old. And you're already one of the veterans on this team, which is kind of crazy. It's a young team that really seems to get along. Can we, whenever players talk about the Toronto team, it's it's always about the dressing room, about how you guys all get along. Is that is that unique, really, to this city? A true brotherhood. Uh, yeah, for sure, most definitely. Uh, we're a young team, uh, with the exception of a couple guys, I would say. <laughs> but, uh, I, well, I'm getting there. But we're a young team, and we definitely have chemistry on and off the court, uh, which definitely shows when we're playing basketball. So. Most definitely feels like that brotherhood. And how cool for you to be here for this, you know, incredible time. A couple of years ago, even just a few years ago, really people were always quick to diss the Raptors and whine about the Raptors. And now you're celebrated Jurassic Park. People stand outside in the freezing cold for hours to watch. You see how loud it is, right, in the stand, in the in the in the stands. What is it like to be part of this momentum? Do you think we have what it takes to finally get into those championship finals? Are we there? Uh, most definitely, I feel like we have uh, what it takes. And, uh, you know, I'm Toronto native, so I know kind of those hard times. So to be able to be here when, you know, kind of turn it around 360, it's, you know, it's unbelievable to see how the fans are supporting us uh, and, you know, coming behind us. And, you know, really they give us energy a lot of the games that we don't have it. So they definitely help. You know, we see it in hockey a lot. A lot of kids grow up here and play hockey and play for the Leafs and that sort of thing. But you are one of the first to grow up here and play for the Raptors. And, you know, a Toronto kid who was a Toronto Raptors fan, for you, was it really special that last year when, you you know, your first regular season game and you put on a Raptors jersey? Uh, most definitely. Uh, my, I'm a bas I have I come from a basketball oriented family, so uh, I kind of grew up, you know, playing basketball, uh, you know, well, as well as my brothers and sisters and whatnot. So, but it was very special, uh, you know, doing what we did last year and just to see how, you know, the city came behind us. Your dad's a coach. How is he as a coach? Oh, he's Good great. One? Nah, he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever consider being a coach? Do, do you love that aspect? Oh, most definitely. I think. Uh, you know, maybe after my career is done, keep my options open, mm -hmm. see if I, you know, could be a coach or whatnot. There's, it's a lot of hours to be a coach, though, so I'm not sure. We'll see. <laughs> did he coach you through that LG? Did you see the oh, trick shot? Yeah, early it's... September. So talk to us about how that all came to be. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, it was the craziest trick shot that I have ever done or ever tried to do. Uh, I was basically on top right. of a, a skyscraper. Uh, shooting over onto a uh, next building that had a basket was 27 stories high uh, over the Tri Toronto uh, financial district and it was all while I was doing this it was all getting captured by the LG G5 wide angle lens uh, which is 135 degrees and also you know wider than the human field of vision so it was I see a unbelievable lot of balls there Corey did yeah. it wasn't like it was more than one shot I take it yeah, yeah. like not yeah. the first shot yeah but like I said you know <laughs> some of those shots what I threw up and it was the wind that just took it so you can't count those ones it was the wind yeah you can't count those ones so basically it was the first shot that right. went in yeah that's right Wait a minute. what happened sure. if it fell between the buildings like were people cleared yeah yeah people okay. were cleared they had the road blocked off it was a big thing how you know, high does a basketball bounce when it falls that far oh uh, i'm not sure it was it, i didn't it didn't like i got the balls and i seen them again it didn't like it maybe warped a couple you know but it, oh it didn't look balls. like it was too bad though okay. so visually it was worth it i don't want to brag but I happen to, to do the, the bottle flip toss in one take. I'm just saying. Like, oh, not yeah? to make it feel bad. <laughs> well, that's basically one take, too. <laughs> <laughs> and I also want to talk about the fact that when you see Strowman, you know, our Jays, Strowman, Bautista in the stands, you know, Drake doing what he does for the team. Do you love that camaraderie where you guys are all supporting one another? Are you supporting the Jays tonight? Well, yeah, most definitely. I'll be there in the stands, you know, cheering them on. And you were and, at the Leafs on Saturday. Yeah, I was at oh, the cool. Leafs on Saturday. Uh, I got to see Wendell, the ceremony, and it was great. So uh, it's definitely, I love that camaraderie. Uh, everybody comes to show, uh, show support and, you know, watch the other people play. So it's definitely like one big family. We the North, we need to take it. Jays need to take it tonight. I can't handle a three-nothing lead. No, Hold no, 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 no. I'm right there with you. We yeah. have no time for that. Thank you so much for being here. Everybody go to breakfasttelevision.ca. Follow you on Twitter, at Corey underscore Joe. And shout out to your family too. Raised What's a good up? son. Mom. Amazing son. Hey, hey Mom. <laughs> Thanks, Corey. Right now we're throwing things over to Kev.